Those accused unjustly of child abuse saw their names in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Although eventually exonerated, their careers were damaged and reputations left in tatters. Today, one of those accused, the former MP Harvey Proctor, told me that compensation he's seeking would never heal the pain. It's the financial and particularly the emotional damage that, is, that Operation Midland caused me can never be undone. It is a deep-seated feeling that I'm not the same person that I was before and I'm not sure whether I've got enough years left to get over what happened to me. Others believed to be suing the Metropolitan Police include the broadcaster Paul Gambaccini, who spent a year on bail before charges were dropped. Also, Lord Bramall, now 93 and former head of the army, who was wrongly named by the police. Leon Britton, a former Tory Home Secretary, died before he was exonerated, but his widow may sue on his behalf. Today, the retiring commissioner responsible for the investigations reflected on his time in office and some of the challenges faced. If allegations are made against those in powerful positions, those <coughs> must not be deflected by their status. That will lead to tension at times between police and those in positions of power. I think that's a healthy sign of a democracy where no one's above the law. Harvey Proctor says the police have apologised to him and asked him to apply for compensation. I've been urged to uh, contact them if, if, if for no other reason than to make sure this does not happen to other people. The Metropolitan Police Service, I think, must learn the lessons of what went wrong in Operation Midland. These cases could be amongst the largest claims ever faced by the Metropolitan Police and are expected to run into millions. Penny Marshall News at 10, Central London.